in yesterday's tip, you learned about why images should be on the left side of your slides and verbiage and numbers should be on the right. Today, let's talk about fonts and colors. With fonts, you want to make something that's a little bit different. The traditional Times New Roman, uh, kind of, it's boring and it's, it's overused. You also don't want to get too fancy. Something like this, which is called Zephyr, uh, is hard to read. Uh, Dr. John Molidor, who I mentioned yesterday, points out that if you ask your brain or your audience's brain to look at pictures and also words or numbers, the brain is going to get tired very fast. You're asking it to do too much. Simplicity is best. So here I used a font style called sans serif. You don't want those little squiggly lines uh, like you have here on an A or a B. You want the simple straight lines and curves. I'm not trying to be a font specialist here, but it is easier on the eye, a sans serif versus a serif font. Dr. Molitor also points out that you should not use white backgrounds like this. Now, this is very hard on the eye. He specifically talks about the rods and cones, which are critical to our vision. Uh, it, it just overworks them and makes the eyes too tired. This is why you see people getting eye strain or eye fatigue because they're looking at slides throughout the day that are overworking the cells in their eyeballs. Something like this, an off-white type of gray is much easier on the eyes. I also like to use colors with my font that match my branding colors. If you see here in my Speaking CPR logo, I've got a, an off green, I've got orange, and I like to feature those because it helps stay consistent with my brand. You don't want to overuse colors. Something like this is overwhelming. You don't want to do this. You also don't want to be boring all the time with the same colors. And by no means am I a color expert. You know, I'm a speaking expert, but I'm giving you a lot of scientific ideas that I've picked up here. Uh, but find out what colors work best for you, your personality. And I know there are color charts you can go to that talk about if something is a more emotional, uh, something that's supposed to kind of keep people calm, like green, I think is very good for that. So, do a little bit of research or get a color expert, but don't overwhelm the eye visually. Uh, use simple fonts, don't use colors that wear out the eyes and your audience subconsciously won't even know why, but they'll think, oh, that was a really good presentation and I like those slides, they, they were appealing to me. In tomorrow's video, you'll hear why it's okay to use a lot of slides in your presentation. A huge number of slides is not necessarily a bad thing. If you know how to structure your presentation right, your audience will never know what's happening. That's right. I'm teasing you. So you'll le listen to tomorrow's tip. See you then.